Um, I, there are two areas here I think that are really important. The first area is um, that analytically we can't understand social ecological systems uh, without talking about and without analysing in depth issues of human behaviour and individual cognition, uh, cultural norms, and also the wider political and other drivers that, that lead to change, large-scale change and very small-scale change within social ecological systems. So to understand those three areas, for example, we need to have political science, we need to have anthropology, we need to have economics. Many social science disciplines contribute centrally, I think, to the knowledge of how we understand social ecological systems. But there is a second area um, that I think is important, which is uh, around resilience as a normative goal. In other words, resilience is something that we desire, that society desires. Resilience is generally a good thing. Therefore, it involves issues of value and values, and whose values and how are they counted. And again, social sciences can really help to work out if this is the direction that we want resilience to be going in and this is what we desire, then how do we build processes to make that happen and how do we understand the diversity of values that bring that together? I think these two areas both show that resilience is fundamentally an interdisciplinary concept that requires the natural and social sciences and I think that actually what makes it so interesting and exciting and certainly one of the reasons it's attracted me to work in this area.